Now, would you like to know that how you can connect wirelessly to Bluetooth speaker with your mobile phone, which does not support dual Bluetooth audio? If yes, this video is for you. What's up everybody, Naresh here, welcoming you back into another video. Couple of months back, I did a video tutorial on how to connect to Bluetooth speaker at the same time with one smartphone. Now over on my that video tutorial, I was asked by so many of you that can we connect to Bluetooth speaker at the same time with a mobile phone which does not support dual Bluetooth connectivity. Strangely connecting to Bluetooth speaker at the same time with one smartphone is a hardware feature and it's only available on high end mobile phones from Samsung used to be in iPhone as well, but obviously after software upgrade, they got rid of it completely. Like for example, I have got a Huawei P30 Pro in there. It's the latest mobile phone with the fantastic feature, top of the range hardware configuration, but still it does not support the dual audio output on Bluetooth. Now to make this possible, I have to upgrade the hardware part of it, which is actually possible by using any Bluetooth transmitter. But the one which I'm using in this video is by Ailey Giant. Now this particular auxiliary wireless audio transmitter and receiver come with the Bluetooth 5.1 and also have a feature of low latency as well. That is advantageous if you have got a two similar kind of a range Bluetooth speaker with a similar kind of codex for sure. Now with the help of using this particular product, you can connect two earphones okay if they have got a low latency in there that would be awesome together with your mobile phone or two bluetooth speakers if you want to it's very easy and straightforward and i'll be showing you all this in this video step by step now the first part of this video would be to connect two bluetooth speaker or earphones if you have them with this with this dual bluetooth transmitter obviously this auxiliary bluetooth transmitter can work in both mode select the mode of operation which is a transmitter that means the signal which will be coming on auxiliary port of this particular transmitter will be transmitted to both Bluetooth speakers. Now first power up one of the Bluetooth speaker which you would like to connect with this uh, transmitter. Now process of pairing your Bluetooth speaker with the, your transmitter also varies as well. It depends upon what kind of manufacturer you have. In my case, it's very easy and straightforward come with the OLED display so I can actually see it which one I would like to connect it to. I have got a JBL Extreme which is ready to pair up. I'm going to select that one first to start with. Now it is connected. Now I'm going to search for the second one by powering it up and making sure it's in a pairing mode as well. Again put in a search mode. There you go. It's going to show you what Bluetooth device would like to pair with your device. Click OK once you would like to happy to pair with it. And there we go. And there we go. Now our Bluetooth transmitter is connected with both mobile phones and straightforward good to go. Now the good thing about this Bluetooth transmitter is it actually tells you what kind of codec will be used for the Bluetooth transmission. It's using SBC which is kind of a low bad one actually guys. It's not that great to be honest with you. That is only happening because I'm using two Bluetooth speaker with a different kind of codecs running on it. It's like finding two Bluetooth speaker from different different manufacturer but following the similar kind of codecs would be ideal. Especially the aptx HD or aptx LL. Now I need to use 3.5 mm auxiliary cable to connect with this uh, Bluetooth transmitter which will be going to be connected with my mobile phone and there we go here is your complete dual Bluetooth audio output supporting setup let's play some of the music just to show you that how it's going to perform voila Well now you have seen it all how easy it is to connect your two Bluetooth devices with the smartphone which does not support dual Bluetooth audio output. 
Now the strange part is there are disadvantages quite many actually by using the system like that is one of them is the majorly is the Kodak mix match. Now I got a Sony Bluetooth speaker which supports Bluetooth 5.0 and a JBL which is support 5.1 and the transmitter which supports 5.1 as well. As you can see that I, I have got all the good stuff in here but the issue is the Kodak support. Sony supports LSE I think so and uh, JBL support uh, SBC and SBC is not that good at all to be honest with you because of the latency issues that's why you might have noticed there is a latency problem. Which is this echo which is this echo in the sound actually. Now to get away with this one you have to find out the Bluetooth speaker which can support APT XLL or low latency any of them. The best part of this is basically using this system like that you can connect two earbuds with it. So that would be all guys. I tried to provide as much as information a user should know about the thinking of system like that. Now everything is right in front of you. What is happening with it? Where is the problem? So I'm sure you're going to appreciate it and hit the like on this video as well. And let me know if you can find some other system which can do better job than this. You know, I'm more interested to look into them. Now, that will be all guys. Thank you again for watching this video. Shall see you soon into another one. Bye for now.